Hey everybody, uh, just a quick update. Um, I'm gonna let you know how to get through this rock cycle assignment. Okay, so we have two things open here. Here we have the actual assignment sheet and here we have the information. Okay, there's also a number of videos. The Build My video is the one I would watch. Uh, and if you wanna see the silly videos, you can watch these two. Uh, but Bill Nye does a great job of talking about rocks. Um, and then here I also give you a presentation. So of course, rocks, <laughs> rock. Um, we have a lot of lovely jokes um, to kind of read through and this will tell you, hey, what's a rock? Uh, the three different ways of making a rock are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic um, types of rocks, I should say, but they're made in three different ways. Okay, difference between a rock and a mineral. Rocks are made of one or more minerals. Okay, once a rock is formed, does it stay the same forever? Absolutely not. Rocks are constantly changed by many processes, such as weathering, erosion, compaction, cementation, melting, and cooling. They can change to and from the three types, and that changing is the rock cycle. So, earth materials change back and forth among the different types of rocks. There's one cartoonish rock cycle. This is a little bit more of a serious rock cycle. That is a very complex uh, rock cycle with lots of pictures, uh, but this rock cycle is the one that's going to help you most with your assignment, okay? So in the instructions, it says the three green boxes are the three main types of rocks. The arrows indicate action words. Write in the correct action word inside each arrow. So if I start at magma, what does magma do to become a rock? Well, magma is liquefied rock. So in order to become a specific type of rock, it has to cool and crystallize. So the answer to number one is cooling and crystallization, okay? When a rock cools and crystallizes, it becomes an igneous rock. Okay, an igneous rock, what happens to an igneous rock to become sediments, okay? Weathering and erosion happens, that creates sediments, okay? What happens to sediments to turn them into a rock? Sediments compact and cement, so compaction, and cementation occurs that turns them into a sedimentary rock, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. Now, wait a minute. What happens to a sedimentary rock that makes it go back into sediments? Guess what? It's weathering and erosion again, okay? So you'll notice that sedimentary rocks can weather and erode, igneous rocks can weather and erode. Guess what, this third type of rock can also weather and erode. So one of the reasons that I like this diagram that I'm having you do is that it shows that any rock can turn into any other rock and it also shows the intermediate forms, right? Magma is an intermediate form, right? Sedimentary rocks can what to become magma? Well, looking here, it's melting. So sedimentary rocks can melt, right? Igneous rocks can melt. Blank rocks can melt. So I've given you a lot of the answers here. It should help you get through this, okay? Next, what I want you to do is I want you to look up a certain example of sedimentary rocks, a certain example of metamorphic rocks, and a certain example of igneous rocks. So I've given you an example here, okay? So don't copy my example. Uh, but your how they form could be similar. So sedimentary rocks form by compaction and cementation of sediments that are usually formed by weathering and erosion, right? So sedimentary rocks form by, that was my answer to that question, okay? Then I looked up on the internet an example of a sedimentary rock, and I used a really rare one called Arcos, right? It can be found near land or shore downstream from granite rocks, the minerals that is made of are feldspar and quartz. And then here is a picture, okay? So you should do that for sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous rocks, then turn it in. And on Thursday, I will introduce the project you'll be working on for the next couple of weeks. Have a great day.